Hi and welcome to day 11 of my 366 day experiment to let love lead. Yesterday I talked about um, ego and the kinds of questions that your ego will ask you and incidentally will also answer to keep you from following the guidance of your heart. So today I wanted to just touch a little more on that but distinguish for you how you can tell when it's your heart talking to you and when it's your ego talking to you. So let's start with the ego because it is the loudest and that's generally the first way in which you will know if it's your ego, that little voice in your head or that um, you know the, the the words that you can hear being spoken to you if it's coming from your ego it'll be really loud there'll be an urgency to it there'll be a do this get that kind of um, uh, outcome to it it'll often be the voice that asks the questions and answers them for example it you know for, for example like you know should I eat this cookie no you can't eat the cookie because you already had a cookie. Or, yes, eat the cookie, you deserve it. That's your ego. It's asking the question and it's answering it for you. So another way of looking at that is by saying it, um, it comes up with the problem for you and then it goes and solves it. Because the ego's purpose is um, to survive. It, it thinks it's helping you survive, but it's also so that it survives. It wants to survive as well. So it's very loud. It asks and answers the questions. And it, the third thing it does is it's always figuring out. It's trying to figure stuff out. If I do this, what will happen? If I don't do this, what will happen? So that's how you can kind of know um, the voice in your head or the voice that's doing the talking, that's how you can know when it's the ego. Now, the heart is, as you can imagine, the complete opposite. It is really softly spoken. It only speaks in one, two, sometimes three words, not many words, it doesn't say much, and it's almost a whisper. And it's that voice that, that whispers Sometimes it's just a yes. Sometimes it's just a no. Sometimes it's a um, stop here, go this way, don't go this way. But it's, it's so softly spoken that sometimes we don't hear it. Or if we do hear it, the yeah but comes in so loud, the big egoic voice comes in so loud and literally kind of comes in over the top of it um, and you miss it. But the practice or the offering that I'm sharing with you today is to begin to develop a relationship with that soft voice. Think of it as a friend. Think of it, this is how I kind of think about it. You're in a park and you've got this really hyperactive, crazy friend that runs around and just wants to go on every piece of equipment and go here and go there and get an ice cream and, and sing and dance and jump. That's one friend. Then you've got this other friend who just likes to sit on the park bench and just observe and watch and take everything in. That is your ego and your heart. So my offering for you today is to spend some time sitting with that quiet friend that's sitting on the park bench and just observe and listen to the few whispers that they have to share with you. Okay, have a great day.